Hi guys, welcome to Linux R YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I'm your Linux trainer. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with eligible delegation in playbook. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before I start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is eligible delegation and their use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my eligible delegation lab setup environment. So the first question come in our mind is what is delegation? So eligible delegation is basically used when you want to perform some tasks other than your managed host. I mean to say these other host can be a local host or the host outside of your play, which may or may not be the part of your inventory file. Okay. So for the lab session here, I have three tested virtual machine. I show you. Look at that. And my first machine acting as a control node with the hostname server1.pool.org having the IP address 10.0.0.1 and running an eligible version is 2.9.1 okay my second trusted virtual machine is acting as a managed host hostname client1.pool.org with the IP address 10.0.0.2 and another third machine also acting as a managed host with the hostname client2.pool.org with the IP address of 10.0.0.3 okay so what I am going to do on control node here I make few playbooks which showing the different cases of eligible delegation condition and then I'm going to deploy this playbook on all managed host as well as control node also okay so let's begin the lab session so here I am on the control node firstly I will show you the host name and the Red Hat release version and the eligible version so guys this is server1.pool.org and currently I am using Red Hat release version 8.0 and I'm using eligible version is 2.9.1 okay so now my first scenario is that I'm going to delegating tasks to the host that does not exist in the inventory okay so I log in my user go the location and here is the content of my inventory file look at that I mentioned group name data with the managed host client1.pool.org okay so for being time saving purpose I have already created a playbook named test.yml where I have mentioned a list of tasks otherwise video will be very long so I'll show you guys let's understand the playbook with eligible delegation feature here I have mentioned a play name that is play one I want to deploy this playbook on the data group so I may so that's why I mentioned host data then in the task section I mentioned the task name install FTP server package okay so for this I use your module and mention the package name that is VSFTPD with the latest availability okay then I mentioned under the tasks with the task name make a test user so for this purpose I use user module here with the username test with present state okay now here I add one more line that is delegated underscore 2 look at that delegated underscore 2 to the client2.pool.org so point is what is delegated underscore 2 so this is the directive not an individual module it indicates with the other modules and it controls the tax execution by deciding which host run the tax at runtime so if you wanna to perform a tax on one host with reference to the other host use the delegated underscore 2 keyword on the tax okay so remember one thing in this case client2.pool.org is not in my inventory file so now I say when quit from there my playbook is ready to run but before run the playbook do not forget to check the syntax error first so for this I use eligible playbook hyphen hyphen syntax check and my yaml file ok looks good no error now run the playbook so for this I run the command eligible underscore playbook hyphen playbook and my eml file that is test.eml so it shows my play name gathering some facts from the managed host that is client1.pool.org 
then given the tax install package it's in change condition look at that okay I press say yes and look at the another tax where we make a text user so whenever we use delegated underscore 2 with the manage host name it execute the tax on the manage host so this tax is dedicated to the client 2.pool.org look at that okay and test user made in client 2.pool.org so from the control node I can check whether the output of both tags succeeded or not using ad hoc command or we can also use SSH command so let's see I say enable hyphen a and rpm query the package name vsfpd and client one dot pool dot org let's see okay I got it and let's check with SSH to the client two dot pool dot org my another tested virtual machine run the command ID and the username test I give the password so here I created successfully on test user on client 2 so hopefully the point is clear to you okay so now let's take a one more scenario in this scenario I am dedicating a task to the host that exists in the inventory file okay so for this scenario I update my inventory file and add client2.pool.org in my inventory file so I open my inventory file and just simply copy and paste here and remove client1 to the replace with client2 okay so I'll just save and quit from there and look at that this is my updated inventory file so again for time saving purpose I have al already created a playbook named test1.yml so let's understand playbook one more time test1.yml so guys this is the same kind of environment like earlier we have seen in the test.yml file here I have mentioned host to data group and I mentioned two tasks first is to install bind package with the latest availability and in the second task make a different user this time uh, username is Linux okay and I'm going to going to dedicate this task to the client2.pool.org okay so I save and quit from here and now check the syntax error first one more time so I say test1.yml okay it's good now run the playbook okay show my play name play one gathering the facts from the both machine look at that manage host client one dot pool dot org as well as client two dot pool dot org and and trying to install the package bind package on both machine okay it takes some time okay completed okay it's trying to make our Linux user so it also make Linux user on client 2.2.org which is dedicated okay cool so let's check the output with the help of ad hoc or SSH command so one more time I'm using enable hyphen a and this time rpm query and the package name is bind 
and I remove say all so this package should be available on the both machine yes it's client2.pool.org as well as client1.pool.org and check Linux user entry also so for this I use one more time ssh command and with Linux this time username is Linux give the password okay great so it's present here okay so now hopefully point is clear to you okay now move to the mm, one more scenario so this time I am delegating a task to the local host machine I mean to say as my control node machine so for time saving purpose I have already created a playbook named test2.yml I'll show you look at that so let's understand playbook one more time here I want to install a telnet package on both machine that is client1 as well as client2.pool.org so for this I use yum module with telnet package with latest availability and for the same time I used file module to make a blank file in my local control node okay so for this I use local underscore action this one local underscore action statement so this statement is used when we want to perform some tasks in the local machine so now uh, for this I use module that is file module give the path I said slash Linux and state is test that means it's create a blank file okay so I save and quit from there and now I check whether the Linux file is already available in slash or not so for this I say ls slash okay no it's not present so now my playbook is ready to run again one more time I'll check the syntax error and then I'll execute the playbook so for this this time I say test2.yml looks good no error now I'm going to deploy this playbook test2.yml so again show my play name gathering them some facts trying to install the telnet package client 1 as well as client 2 and now this time make a blank file on the control node okay so it shows me all change status so first check my blank file on the control node or on my local machine so for this I run the command ls slash look at that here I got my file Linux okay and check telnet package on the both manager my manage host machine side so for this I am using ad hoc command so I can run eligible hyphen a rpm query and this time package name is telnet let's check whether the package is installed or not it's available or not yeah it's it's perfectly okay it's available so finally guys this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon I will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something I have missed or you want to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update guys one more thing if you are interested in rel 8 online classes for rscs and rsc section please contact us through given links which is mentioned in the description thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye